Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com sitting in for Mod Mind Day for the top five free iOS apps for the week. The first one we're looking at here is called Scribbleboard, and this is a pretty cool app if you enjoy drawing your messages or just doing things, personalizing emails, messages, anything like that. Uh, this is Scribbleboard, guys. And what you have to do, first you have to install it going through the keyboard. It tells you how to do all that. You will have to grant full access in order to use this. And once you get everything up and running, it's a very cool little app, just to say the least. Now, let's go ahead and let me show you some something about it here. Once you get it installed, like I said, uh, you can use it in messages, email, whatever you want to do, wherever you can use a keyboard, basically. And as you can see in here, it looks quite different. But it gives you an awesome looking little keyboard right there. And you see if you hit the little globe down here, if I hold down my finger on the globe, I still get all my other keyboards. Uh, however, we're going to enable the scribble board for now. And you got different things you can do in different corners here, such as right there. You can change the background colors if you want to. Here you can change your tool color and size. And down here's the little globe I already showed you that. Down here in the bottom right corner is copy and paste and the little drop down thing that's the save uh, camera roll. So if we just come in here and just say hi and that's all we do. If we just simply wanted to copy that, we've copied that into our clipboard. Now we can come up here and paste it and now we can send that to whoever we wanted to in our messages. So see how it works? Very awesome little app guys. Definitely one worth having and checking out. The second application we're looking at, guys, is called Adventure Express. This is by Adult Swim, and this is a bejewel game with a twist of uh, some type of a fighting app added to it. And let me show you what I mean by that. You have to get three colors in a row like so in order to make an attack move and you saw that the more colors you get in a row the better your attack is so as you can see there they keep continuing to, to drop down even though I'm not making the picks it's it's basing it on the pick I already made. So if we go in here and swap that one, I'm trying to get it to uh, do a really awesome kill for you. And right now I'm just sort of getting a one swipe deal. <clears throat> and you see up there at the top, it keeps a little score on each side so you know how much strength and so forth you've got and what you need to do in order to win okay that was a really good hit right there and you see that brought his strength way down that's another good hit so as you can see we won and that's called adventure express by adult swim okay guys the third one we're looking at here is called absorption and this is a pretty cool little game. You have to get next to the different items here. And I'll show you what it is. You can't get close to the wall. And you're supposed to get uh, close to those items that are coming down from the top in order to make a higher score. So, as you can see, I hit the wall there. So, let's try this again. And not very good score, but at least I didn't hit the wall. And that was a little bit better. That's called absorption. The next one we're going to play, guys, is called Astro Jump. And you have to hold your finger down on the screen in order to keep the little man on the ground, like so. And if you want to jump, you just release. 
And as you can see, though, you'll be sucked into the something of magnetic field, I guess we could call it, because it has a very strong force. And if you even get halfway, it'll, it'll knock you on into the magnetic field. You can't bring yourself back is what I'm trying to say. And it's a very cool game to play. It's a hard game, so I think it's going to be challenging, something like Flappy Bird. So, here again, guys, it's called Astro Jump. Okay, guys, last but definitely not least is one called Vidgets. It's Widget with a V instead of the W. And what you have to do in order to get this started, you simply just pull down your notification center and go all the way to the bottom and tap Edit. And in here, you should see Vidget listed. And then you do right here to about, about the fourth one down. Simply just tap that little plus, and it will move it up into the today summary. And I'm even going to move it closer to the top so we can get a better look. So now we can go in here and see exactly how it looks. Fidget has up to 20 different widgets you can add to your notification center. All you have to do is simply just, like I sh showed you earlier, drop your notification center down. But to add widgets, you just simply open this back up. And down here at the bottom, the little plus sign you see there, tap the plus sign. And you see in here you got all sorts of different clocks and calendars. You have a digital clock, analog, world clock. You can add separators if you want to. If you even want stuff to deal with your battery, free space, free memory, GPSs, compasses, weather. They have four or five different uh, widgets for each category. And if you wanted to request a different widget, you just you tap the little request button up there and send that to the developer and you can also come in here if you wanted to and uh, change the colors of some different things that would be left up to you like that if you wanted the different colors for your battery say then you did your time clocks uh, you can customize it to be pretty well awesome little deal guys check it out to be free don't forget, guys, as always, we'd love to have you as a subscriber. Please hit that subscribe button, share this video with all your social media, and keep coming back.